Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sex in the Kitchen with Mr. Fashion. Today, I'm going to be making citrus fried chicken, which sounds really good, so it's my first time making it, so <laughs> it's going to taste good, I know it will. Uh, first, I'm starting off with four, four quarters, or legs, as everybody else calls them, so I'm just seasoning them up right quick. do the skin first, then I'm going to flip it over and do for people that like eating skin. Flip them over. And do the meat. By the way, that's onion powder. And this is just regular seasoning salt. It's not seasoning salt. What is it? It's oh. chicken and seafood seasoning. Chicken and seafood seasoning. Still seasoning salt. But it's only for chicken and seafood. Get inside of me. to the liquor store, I got a drink for y'all. Some might like it, some might not. But, I know you will. My drink is called peanut butter and jelly. It actually tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Seasoned it, which is all seasoned now. It's all seasoned now, real good. Don't need a lot of seasoning because you don't want the season to overpower your sauce. So you take your flour. This is flour mixed with uh, what's the name of that cheese called? Parmesan, Parmesan cheese and some breadcrumbs. Um, just mixed enough to make sure I cover all four of my pieces of chicken. By the way, while you're doing that, you gotta have your thing going. Fryer. I got it there fry going. I got it on 400 degrees. Just wash that out. Just put this over here while I do it. And while these are frying, I'm gonna make my sauce. Probably have to do one at a time because the thing is not that big. Maybe two. Remember to wash your hands when you finish do, using messing with chicken. And when we come back, I'll show you how to make the chicken. How to, how to make the sauce. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Uh, since the chicken is frying, you know quarter pieces of chicken take a minute to cook. I want to go ahead and start making my sauce because sauce is being made with alcohol. So you know you got to let the uh, alcohol simmer in it. First, you're going to take a cup of barbecue sauce, case you match a piece, of course. And then, the orange part. This stuff is called, let me show you what it is. This stuff is actually good. So I'm going to make the barbecue sauce out of that. This is the orange citrus part. So I'll put that in there. Then you take a tablespoon of OJ. And this is the best part I like. Two tablespoons of bourbon. I'm about to take a shot of it, but no. No, you're not. And then that's it. I'm just going to mix that up. Just let it simmer. Feel free if you feel like putting more stuff in this, you can. So you just let this simmer until all your chicken is done. 
I like to put my chicken directly in it, but the misses don't, so what I'm gonna do is just make the sauce, put hers to the side and put mine in. You might have to taste it to see if you need more, more orange in it, if you want it more a little orangey or citrusy, whatever. But you might have to. I don't know. Depend on your taste. Because I think I might need a little more after I taste it. Yeah. That's good. Sorry. Be right back, y'all. Can't hold the camera and do this. <laughs> and that's good. I'm gonna just let that simmer on like uh, uh low heat, low to medium heat. Just let it simmer and get all the alcohol out of there and just leave it with the flavor. And then we'll be back with the final results. Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, being that I have two pieces of chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and make it. And by the way, I added some peach preserves to the mixture just to give it a little bit more sweetness to it. I've added uh, three teaspoons of peach preserves. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do some chicken right now, my piece of chicken. So I take the whole piece of chicken. Let's put it in there. <laughs> and just put the bar piece over the chicken. This is how I like it, but you can do it without. I like it saucy. Drain access of what you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that's the finished product. That's what it's going to look like. Mm. And by the way, if you're not an alcohol drinker and the bourbon is like you don't want the bourbon in there, you can omit, you can take the bourbon out of the sauce. Or you can put it in the pan first, light a match to it, and burn the alcohol off. Just, just so it can leave you with the flavor of the bourbon. And that's just about it. Well, what I'm gonna eat this with is uh, my potato salad. You can add more. You can add whatever you want to it. But yeah, that's just about it. I'm gonna get and finish my other ones. And thanks for coming to watch my video again. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye.